fucking restart. So, <laughs> during the break, I was looking for a game to play, and I saw this game. And I've seen this game, like, a long, long time ago. And I remember it was fun. Me, personally, I like, uh, like, radioactive type of shit. Like, the, the, it's the end of the world, and radioactive shit has taken over. So, this is a perfect game that I would be interested in. I literally just got it right now. <laughs> so, let's play. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Robot Gentleman. It's not acting up. Cool. Let's start. Atomic Hero Challenge, Survival, Scavens, Apocalypse. The full Atomic Experience. One of a kind. Scavenge supplies from a house to make sure to follow up. So I'll stock better in every run, no survival on clear. Should I do a tutorial? Or should I just dive right in? Let's dive right in, fuck it. <laughs> Scavenge around your efforts and then survive the post apocalypse. Yeah, let's do that. Exploration, scavenge time, 60 seconds. Stock shelter, empty. Health issues, caught no one. Fragile equipment like glass. Unwanted visitors, hordes. Trouble every day. Fat man, exploration time, scavenge time, some junk, select difficulty, oh, difficulty. Hmm. I want to be tough. Should I work my way up? I feel like I should. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. Fuck that. I'm doing that. Begin adventure. Oh, fuck. Essence of life, basic survival, an atomic adventure awaits. A jar equals four water. Okay. So water is the most important shit. Well, yeah. Obviously that shit is. Oh, fuck. Did it start? Did it start? <laughs> How did it grab? Okay. Can it run? Water was that. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's Where the fuck is the shelter? Oh. Come here, bitch. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Where's my fucking wife? Where is she? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <gasps> my wife. Come here, bitch. Get your ass here. Oh. 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 Oh.
<sighs> I don't even know what I got. <laughs> I know I got a little bit of food. I have a gun. I have a bunch of water. All my family's there. And I have some toxic shit. Okay. Let's go. Family guy. Let's get the whole family. Okay. I have a shitload of water. Three food supplies, ammo. Okay. I got a gas mask? Oh, fuck. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember uh, hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We eventually remember to re we eventually remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. Ammo, gas mask, and that. We don't have that much food, no one's complaining yet, but even canned soup might become an extra extravagant dish quite soon. Okay. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Okay. Time to ration supplies. Uh... Damn, I'm gonna go hungry soon. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do that. Everyone could chill out for now. How about that trip to Nevada? We've been postponing for a while now. Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. Okay. Save that food. Oh, I could. Poor diet, bad health, or poor diet, bad health, or injuries increase chances of survival. Okay. Five bottles, three cans. Bug spray. Maybe moving away won't be too bad. We can probably make new friends, meet new people, provide anyone is still alive. That is, Ted is fine. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Oh. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna run out of shit. Day two. We'll do food. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Ted seems to be in really good shape for your trip. Loris is pretty good shape. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Timmy is in good health and fine, full of optimism. Now, should we start an exploration or an uh, expedition? I mean, the radiation is very, very recent, but at the same time, there'll be more supplies. I'm debating if I should send Mary Jane or Ted. Mary Jane, just because she's feeling excellent. Let's put her to work. But Ted, I mean, he's the dad of the group, so makes sense, right? Let's do Ted. Ooh. 
We might be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with it as soon as possible. Otherwise, we might end up falling asleep in the face of real danger. Like sorcerer men from Mars? Sorcerer men from Mars? Oh, fuck. This guy looks sleep deprived. And this guy too. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get a, at least an hour or two of sleep, no luck. We're even more tired than we were, and there are other problems we will need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickening. Ted is really tired, Timmy is really tired, Mary Jane is feeling safe, who wouldn't in this coffin's a shelter? Dolores is fine as well, as much as anyone can be fine and well. Oh no. Oh. I didn't know that. Oh shit, if I knew that, that would have been Enough sitting around, it's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies. Maybe something somewhere from the blast. Maybe someone is still alive. Let's find out. What's it take? Why are these guys crossed out? Can't I take more shit? Well, she's gonna die. Lori is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she makes it back safe and sound equipment. Ted is still mildly tired and needs more time to recover his strength. Timmy needs to rest a bit longer. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Fuck. There is... There it goes again. Noises. Weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls, is it something behind the door, we don't know, and it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax, otherwise we might get paranoid. We can't even be friends, so uh, boredom can really get to you in the shelter. It can lead you to dark places, stresses. Timmy still ha still hasn't rested. Ted has rested. Ted has gone crazy. Mary Jane is feeling safe. He wanted this coffin size shelter. Okay, I just give him water. Fuck it. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed. He used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and a gambler. He offered us a card game for a 
bet of two water bottles shall we play? No. Day six. Uh oh. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We're s we'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. Timmy has rested. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. This is a joyful time in a sea of grief. It's Timmy's birthday today. Just like last year, we waited until the last moment to get him in prison, but this time our options are limited to whatever we can find in the shelter. What is he getting this year? It's kind of fucked up. Day seven. Is my wife coming back? So this guy has fully recovered, but these two, they've gone insane. We don't know if Timmy is ever going to be a boy scout after the apocalypse, but the scout handbook is a deadly spider killing weapon in his capable hands. He's having fun. Ted's mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today and no trouble dared to cross her path. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. We gotta save the food. We're like very, very low now. The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life. He came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry men enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor. Should we let them? No, what the fuck? The fuck, that doesn't make sense. We didn't answer those Peculiar calls and kept the door locked and says noises outside very away. We're not exactly sure we want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? They might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. His mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling this situation. She looks fine today. Where did that green puddle come from? Oh dear, a pipe is leaking green goo. That's not good. That's not good at all. We need to act now and no one packed a mop. What are we doing? Well? <gasps> She's back. Please tell me she has stuff. She got fucked up. Ha, ah, problem solved. No league, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. After a bit of scouting, we arrived at the city hall. Half of it was still standing while the other half turned out to be a gaping hole in the ground. We went to the ruins hoping to find something useful. One of the surviving rooms was a small maintenance closet. The only thing inside was a bucket full of water with a mob standing in it. We managed to fill some bottles with contents of the bucket. I need food. It does look a bit funny. We just hope it doesn't taste of soap or something worse. 
The mayor's secretary was a sweet old lady who loved music. The mayor let her keep a radio so she could listen to it while she worked. It's still here and undamaged. We found the mayor sitting in his office on the top floor. He had fully stocked first aid kit on his desk. Apparently he was a bit of a health freak. All this medication seemed to have done to have done nothing for him though. Now he looks rather burnt with a hint of cr crispy and skeletal. Archives in the basement were relatively undamaged, but the room was in total chaos. Acts and documents were laying around in huge piles, and between them we found a map of our town. We couldn't resist looking into one of our friend's documents. Turns out she was way older than she claimed to be the lying old bat. That meant our gas mask was damaged during the expedition. Ted isn't acting normally since it's his behavior is pretty disturbing. Dolores has been putting on a brave face, but she must be starving. Dolores is really tired. Mary Jane is feeling safe. We want to Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Fuck, I have no food. Wait. Who's not st Can I back up? No, I can't. Sending Dolores out is a death sentence. I don't have a. Fuck, I don't know who else to send out. Ring, ring, there, there we were thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again when suddenly a phone starts ringing. From somewhere outside, we figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should we go? Uh. Hmm. I don't have a gas mask. I mean, I could wait it out until someone comes, and hopefully I could kill them. <laughs> but if I send someone out, that's uh, guaranteed they'll get- Oh, I have a first aid kit! Okay. Hopefully that first aid kit comes in the clutch. Fuck. All thumbs. Break or use something in your phone while well, shelter. I will survive. Last 10 days in your phone while well, shelter. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gas of relief from the caller. The entry to the survivors from the nearby town of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information when the call was short, cut short, something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Test my time with the Warriors is Dolores is so tired and can't. Dolores has barely any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Tell me my number. Okay. Well, Mary Jane is done. <laughs> Okay, well at least she's not dead yet. Mary was once outside, let's hope she hurries back. Equipment like Ted is not acting normally. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. The worst complaint she still can't get a good night's nice sleep around. Timmy is good, well at least he was five minutes ago. If there's anyone who can rescue us from the hellish situation, it's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either 
A naysayer or you call me. We're good citizens who've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure when Kasam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we. Never mind, the government people are coming and we should keep our ears. Yeah. Oh, I could mark it? We may contact the military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions to keep our radio in a working order. Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. Dolores has barely any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. Dolores needs more time to rest. She seems exhausted. To me, might not look like it, but he's just a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Family has been stuck down here for a while now, and we are very worried. We are very worried that this might be, this might have an adverse effect on Timmy's education. Can even read anymore up there? He at least consumed a comic book or two a week. Now there's nothing. We need to give him something to read. Let's give him this. Damn, I'm missing a long time. It's not bad. The only book we have with us is the Scowl Handbook, but it's more than enough to get to me reading. He might learn a thing or two along the way. Perfect. Tess Mental Health, okay. Timmy was never a fan of soup, but soup is all he talks about now. He might be hungry. Obviously, dude. It's tough surviving these conditions. Let's hope this will be over soon or else we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. That's not something we are looking forward to. Where's my daughter? It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with the sheltered life but we can lose hope. Tell you drink something. Fuck. So we met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital, moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by him. The hazards of the wasteland. Their problem is, some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. They're asking us if we have any spare hydrogen peroxide. I ain't got shit. Oh, look at her. We don't think they were real doctors, but just in case they were. We got rid of them quickly before they could start charging us for a home visit. I hope it is no longer thirsty. There isn't enough food to go around. Even Ted has nothing to eat. The worst needs some more rest. The worst came down with a sickness. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Timmy's diet needs food. Okay. I don't have shit. Skip it there. We're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. 
We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local Trianon home. They must have some supplies, in our opinion. We need them more. The well being of our family is the. Yeah! Obviously. The dark side. Oh, what the fuck is that? We are now richer and some supplies, but for some reason we don't feel very good about it. Let's just never mention this whole thing again. Test stomach is rumbling, test mental health. Okay, Dolores is barely in streams. Water is all Dolores wants. She still can't get it good. Timmy's diet needs food. It's today or never. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Okay. This is what we'll do. She needs food. He needs water. Let's give him food. We know little. We know very little about what's going on outside. It'd be a good idea to find out more. We've discovered if anyone else made it safely. A radio could help with this. Hell yeah, we got some food. Okay, she's coming back to normal. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The follow outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Rumbling says much to... Okay. Laura says barely any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will... But she still can't get... Okay. And that's the road without any water in her. Timmy's diet needs for it. Today or never, Timmy's no longer person. Oh, yeah, what? Timmy dying is for his today or never. Give food, food, and water. We always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better in a way. Not okay. back. I don't have a first aid kit for you anymore. What do we got? Food? No water. We got water. Look at this guy. Oh my god. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. It's quite a long walk from our house to the docks. We know of a promising warehouse in the area. It survived the blast, but the safe wave around half of it. We were hoping it wasn't the better half. Water, water everywhere, and finding empty bonus to story. Okay. Kind of salty. Uh oh. This last expedition got us thinking maybe. We could just drive away from this neighbor somehow. Of course, no, most uh, most uh, automotive available are completely burnt out. But we find a solid base and scavenge enough parts. Perhaps we could build a vehicle of our own. We better keep an eye out for those. Ted is hungry. Ted is no longer thirsty. Ted seems to be losing it. Either we do something or the bunker will drive him completely insane. Water, the Lord has been in strength of she to me starting his food. Could use a little food. Okay. She needs everything. Yeah, let's do that. It seems awful quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We won't know. Fuck it. Ted is happy to risk his life in this way. Dolores says she's fine, but... At breakfast, we heard a knock on our door. It was a man with a rather excessive number of arms. Yeah, told us of his group was having a hard time finding supplies wherever they'd go. They got shot at first sight and asked questions later. It's probably because of their appearance. He finally meets the president of us with the offer in exchange for some Supplies says folks would escort us on our next expedition to make sure we come back home safely. Oh, hell no. What? 
What? <laughs> no matter how many spare hands these people have and how friendly they are, in our spare displays, we need to take care of our own. The man was disappointed, but he understood. Every day, Ted is becoming more and more. It's a reading newspaper, rather something that he seemed to think was a newspaper. I told he seemed very interested in this, but we didn't want to drag him away from his reading. He had to answer a call of nature. Bothered by it, and when we tried to make him realize what he'd done, he just muttered that he might land it to us. We finished, and he's hungry, so to be losing either we could do something. Not like it well, if we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. The worst died of. Damn. We've been preparing for this expedition. Send him out. Fuck it. Good. 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 Let me check what they got. Fuck it. <laughs> Ted, Ted left. We hope he'll come back, my jam. Okay. Fuck it. We have a worker. Why not use it? Maybe we'll be able to catch podcasts. Yeah. blew up inside the radio and they and the wretch think uh, call fire put it on but I don't work anymore Tim is dying needs food say or never Tim feels sick one of the cupboards in the shelter was a bit sticky shaky so we pulled it out to give it a new home in the process. We discovered a secret door. What does it lead? No idea. Oh my god. Oh no. Some things are better left untouched and unknown. Whatever is behind the door will have to stay there. We also stacked some furniture against it just to be sure nothing and no one comes through it. Mary Jane's died, could use a lot of food. Timmy's quite sickly or something. A few more hours of coughing and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation fans have halted. Seems to be circling through the shelter. We have to fix it before we suffocate like rats trapped by. He's in the handbook to research, man, it doesn't seem like a very dirty figured it. It's full of pointers on how to fix things and must put up trackers on every shutter. If we could even check, we were invaded by a group of angry mutants and insects which flew out of that cursed man. Their things hurt like hell and seem... Oh no... Hear that noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner. <coughs> oh no. Going to a tight dark tunnel is not a good day, especially with those weird noises coming from it. Giving us creeps even up here. Hmm. 
When entering our bucket in front of the shelter, we discover a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew a well and marked this spot at the end of the supply cylinder. Should we check it out? Okay. The treasure hunt actually turned out to be fun, despite taking place in your radioactive realm. That is our time. More importantly though, it was successfully we managed to find a small package. Whatever is in it definitely proved useful. Confined space is in a very friendly environment and we quickly got into an argument over some trivial things. This keeps on, we might find ourselves in a nasty place. Oh. He didn't get shit. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. The nuke did miss most of the destructive work, but gasoline reserves under the nearby gas station blew up as well. All that was left of the place was a crippled cashier's booth and the remains of several cars. Someone might have that. 60 seconds was enough for a gas refill and quickly got away. Did not wrong. There was an abandoned truck in line for the gas pump. We immediately recognized the logo of the, of the well. Known company on its side, yep, the cancer company. One of the cars had a map inside of it. After pursuing the chart, we noticed a level which read Time Machine Hidden Here. A big red X marks the spot. Deck of cars was lying about just outside the booth. After picking them up and counting them out, the only thing missing were three sixes playable enough. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Let's just hope they, this doesn't ha happen again. We window shocked nearby parking lots for a vehicle that was completely burnt out. Fortunately, we found nothing of value. Maybe future expeditions will be more open. Mary Jane's diet could use a lot of food. Still is completely sane. It feels as okay. Timmy has been sitting there just stop staring into the space. There's something wrong. Maybe it would be good to have a little chat with him. Alright, what's going on? Oh, fuck. They've all gone insane. A word of advice crazy talking, tiny atomic shelter may actually turn up. Turn others insane. Tense. Oh my god. Timmy's behavior is all Well, that's all we have. Hmm. Gotta send her. I feel like everyone's gonna die soon. Okay. Fuck. When we heard a knock on the door this morning, we held our breath in fear, but we soon heard children's voices confirm, so we decided to open it and. Turn out the voices belong to a pair of girl scouts. They used to sell cookies, but they have branched out and now they offer they offer log for hmm buck spray.
The girls were very kind and their prices were more than fair, so we gladly accepted their offer. How very clever of them to keep their business alive. Okay. Hmm. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equal and scruffy bag on his shoulder appeared as he visit. He offered us a simple one time deal for just one can of soup. We get the bag and all of his console. Besides, the trader gave us, gives us an angry glance every time we take a step towards the mysterious bag. No. Lock. Watch right here. Our grandparents always told us to never buy anything sight unseen and we're not about to start now. Gone are the times of yard sales. We can manage with that water drug is in that mysterious bag. This thing is a start. I should drink something. To me it's still close. Usually we'll open it anyway. How about getting him some to drink? He's not looking well. Oh, well, I ain't got shit. Timmy claimed he couldn't sleep last night due to Ted's loud. Incessant snoring. Okay. Ted, Ted angrily retaliated by making clips about the size of Timmy's ears, which enraged Timmy even more. It's a desperate for a solution, what can be done? Is that ammo? Timmy eventually settled for jamming checkered pieces into his ears, not what the doctor would order, but it did a trick, he said, well, although one of the pieces is missing this morning, is it still stuck in his ear? And more importantly, can we still play checkers without it? Ted's stomach is rumbling. Timmy needs an extra blanket. He's shivering all this. Timmy still hasn't recovered his full mental capacity. We wish we could. We need to give him water now. Timmy is bored out of his mind. He won't leave Ted alone. First, he wanted to play tag now. It's hide and seek, which are both terrible idea for a small shelter like this. Ted's in the bad mood, just wants to be left alone, but Timmy's like, you know, how about charades? Uh oh. Who's knocking now? Sure, it's a serious business, but we never suspected the game could be this violent. Ted can uh, guess any of Timmy's comic book characters' names, which just calls Timmy to me, mine, and just your more and more wildly. His flying arms knocked a few things off the shelves before he finally gave up. Our strength Ted isn't hungry anymore. Timmy isn't. You would expect the puzzle puppies to be a time of peace and quiet since, you know, most of the people aren't around anymore. You're here, we, we have some at the door. When we opened it, we encountered a strange looking man in a blue jumpsuit. We asked us to trade with him, traded him a water chip. A water chip? What in the hell is that? One more ticket. Go and buying it. Oh, fuck. We were sorry to explain we didn't know what a water chip was and that we didn't have one. He thanked us in a few short words and left. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. Too many days with no water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the, wo the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. Surviving the problem is no easy task. We can tell you that much. We survived 33 days. Oh, fuck. <laughs> finished. You perished. The eel.
Okay. Items brought from expeditions. Okay.